Hey everybody, Ugly American Living Philippines. We're here uh, getting ready to have our business meeting, uh, weekly or bi-weekly basically, per harvest I guess, with Dodon and Jan. So anyway, we're getting ready to get started. Hides is on the way in here. So we'll see how it all goes, what's going on. Uh, second batch. Fifty chicks. Thirty nine only because uh small. The they haven't grown eleven, up yet. Yeah. So there's still eleven that, that are too too small. Uh, one one kilo. Uh, eleven pieces. Um, under. Yeah, under. But they'll grow up later. 39. That you sold? Did you yes. sell them already? Yes. Oh, okay. Where did you sell them? 39 chicks. Okay, mm -hmm. and delivered. Who did you sell them to? Uh, 1,356. <laughs> uh, what? You gotta come translate. She's not understanding me. Wow. Who did you sell the chicks to? She said they sold 39, but who did they sell it to? 39. Okay, and 11 under our uh, Chicken up chicks. Mangat mano? Oh. They sold the chicken. <coughs> 39. 39 No, I didn't buy it. 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 I uh, ang amo na kuha ini 17 amo ini 29 chicken o oh, 39 chicken as ko ang na deliver na mo nag total 39 oo oh, oh. so Ado this sold 17 pieces to even first deliver 17 huh? pieces second six the second pieces. it was 6 okay. pieces the total of how much how many total na 45 and 17 plus 6 Oh, and 17 nag total si Dre ng 2550 plus 6 nag total si Dre 775. The rest of the chickens that is on her list, those are the chicken that they killed it, they cook it. Those are the ones they sold to themselves. Yeah. Okay. You were keeping track of it by the 50 chicks that you bought and you're doing it that way? Why not? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just wondering if that how you're going to continue to do it, or I thought because we talked about before that the, they were growing such different rates that just whenever you know, like once a week or every two weeks, we'll get together and whatever you've sold during that time, we'll just discuss it that way. So it, it doesn't really matter which batch because it only matters how big, when they right. get big enough to sell. We already settled for the first batch right. that was 29 right. uh, alive, right. survive. The rest died out of 50. So now I want to say that it doesn't matter about right. the batch. Mm -hmm. There's only so forget the 50. So it's, it's just it's 39. About, uh, it's about whatever the chicken that whatever they sold. To right, right. Sell it right. It doesn't matter because all this right here, they're all the second batch anyway. Right. Okay. At okay. The Okay, we'll, we'll get into it more. That's okay. fine. So you sold 39 chickens. Yeah. You sold seven, kilos. seven to yourself to uh, Young Barbecue. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen to Barbecue. Chicken, yes. Okay, that and then the rest. The rest, they sold it to Ivan. So 14 oh. from 39 is... Tapos may nag-order sa amo ng 2 pieces. So you sold 14 chickens to Jan's Barbecue for 150 each? Yes. Okay. How much did you sell them to Evander for? Yeah, naman ako. Kaya tag-direction naman ako. Ang 2 pieces, 2 and 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 315. So she just put it right to like two pieces of chicken and it weighs 2.1. Oh, so she sold it for 150 pesos per kilo. Yes. Okay, okay. So you're not doing it per chicken. Okay. I'm going to add 23 plus an ako na ko ang the total the, the, the gross. The, so yeah, this is the, the sales. total sales of just for everything. Who's where's yeah. the vendor? Third, 17 and okay. six pieces. 
Okay, these are 23. Okay. So, pila yeah. tanan ka book manok ana? 39. So, 39 okay. chicken. Wait, did they sell them the same price to a vendor as they did to themselves? Oh, oh. 150. So, 150 and okay. say, Joe. Okay, so it's all the same price. 150. Okay. Okay. So, it's the same. Yeah. So, it doesn't matter. Okay. And so, this is the total how much you collected? 5,356. Okay. They said that they also. Out the 53,000, 50, 300, they take, take some of that money to buy the feeds. Okay. Feeds, but they also bought a jar. For the, it's a water jar. Okay. Last time, when we had like a thousand peso profit, mm -hmm. it really wasn't. They should have kept it all, no profit, because it should have all went back into the feed. We want the business to start paying for all that, but in the beginning, of course, we have to invest it. They should always have a sack of feed at, at their house for the chicks and for the bigger chickens. Okay. Yeah, so they're just worried about the investment. It's getting bigger. They don't want the, the reason that they do it that way because they don't want this meat, yeah, but this meat to like I, I already uh, told them getting that that's... bigger and bigger. And then when they sell the, the chicken, it's going to be always the same, you know, like money. No, no, it, it'll be fine. The, the whole point is that we need to save as much money on the feed as we possibly can. Hopefully we have enough money from the business to pay for all the feeds and still make a profit. They, they don't have the to, money. they do not have to wait for us to buy some feed. They do not they have need to. need it, right? They're going to buy it today. Okay, they well, home. the point is that when they need the feed, they buy the feed and it comes out of the profit. Okay, well, this will all start flowing properly eventually. Okay, so that's what you made profit, 3591 right? So don't worry about uh, profit and don't worry about paying back the investment. Take care of the chickens. How many chickens do you have right now? How many chicks at your farm do you have? I like about 161. In the beginning you invest and then afterwards, you know, it'll come back. So it's up to you. What do you want to do? Do you want to raise more chickens? And then once you start selling the chickens, you're going to pay back the investment. It's going to be no problem. Okay? I'm not worried about that. You have to get the business off good. And we want to save as much money on the feed as possible. We want to buy as cheap as feed as we can. Because that's going to cost us the most money is feeding these chickens all. You want to keep the business smaller? We can keep it smaller if you want to. You're saying let's do 100. That's okay. We can do it. It's totally up to what you feel comfortable with. So let's figure out this scenario with only 100. Not 200. We'll do 100 chicks, half the food, half the cage, so 7,000. 4,700. 4,000, okay. I will make 4,800. 4,000? Is he okay with 100 chicks? Yes, 30. They're okay with it with a 100 chicken, and I told them that uh, when they run out of feeds, because in a few days they're going to be selling 11 chicken, and that 11 chicken that they're going to be sold. By, uh, by with the feeds. And you're going to build one more cage, and you're going to get a hundred new chicks, yes. and you're going to get a sack one. of feed and some food for the chicks, and then you guys will be good to go with 261 chickens. And then as you sell the chickens, the business should support itself. Okay, everything understood? Yeah. So they're going to harvest 11 in a few days, and then they're going to have 150 chicks that are going to come due at different times. They're going to harvest at different times. All right, everybody. Sorry sorry about that. The, the video ended. Uh, the battery died on my phone. But anyway, we settled on, uh, I, I said 4,800, I mean 5,800, but it's 4,800 more pesos invested in the business to get an additional 100 chicks. They didn't want to get too far in debt, so um, that's fine. <clears throat> so they're going to get another 100 chicks, and they're going to hopefully sell some chickens in the next few days and have enough money to support their own uh, feed for the chicks. And then in uh, the end of this month, the end of December, they should harvest another uh, 100 chicks. So once that happens, the whole thing should self-support and they could replace the chickens and, and uh, uh, buy the feed that they need. So anyway, that's what we agreed on. So they add a little bit of additional investment there of 4,800 uh, pesos and uh, we're good to go. So uh, I found out that Jan's uh, selling more uh, Chicken Joy, the fried chicken. She's selling it to some other places that uh, she sells it to them for 10 pesos and they're selling it for 12 different ones. And I told her that's a really great idea. Go around to some of these other places and maybe uh, you can expand as far as making money right away from this business. That's the way they could support themselves while they're trying to get this uh, the chicken farm 
going good. So anyway, all looking good. We'll keep you updated. We'll meet with them in a couple of weeks and uh, see where we stand at that point. All right, Ugly American, living in the Philippines, over and out.